look, I mean, look, this is a view of Antarctica, right? You scroll in and there's all this ice, right? And, but it's weird. It's like a grid. Like there's clearly some things they, they don't want us to see blocked off. But then even weirder, you go over here and it's like sand. Like what? That looks like sand. And then you come over here what is this? Look, there's tracks. Like somebody was clearly, those are, those are deliberately put there. Then you go up here and there's one up there. And it's, look at that. Tracks, look at the tracks and then you can't even see them anymore. Because look, you, you zoom out and it's like it was never there. The Black Jesus story was uh, probably one of the most shocking things I ever heard. Um, it came from my insider, uh, Jacob, I call him that in the book, who actually Yacoub. was working for the Rothschilds and still does. And um, Jacob Rothschild. also is a whistleblower who doesn't really do what they want, but continues to work for them because he feels like there's some very serious extraterrestrial threats to Earth and that what they're doing is very necessary to protect us. Yes, this is here. So the story goes that in the 1960s, there was a black man uh, in Africa who came in with abilities complementary to those of Jesus. And uh, he was performing miracles. He was starting to get people to listen to what he had to say. And the cabal tried to kill him. And, you know, they could shoot him in the head and his skull would just regenerate and the yep. flesh would grow back and uh, he was fine and uh, you know so yep. yep the crazy story that I heard which and, and remember I was told at the time that if I disclosed this that I would be uh, killed and I ended up putting it in the book anyway um, the story was that this guy uh, you know they finally said okay we're gonna bring you to the United Nations and share your message with the world let's get you on this flight they, they bring him on this flight, and instead of bringing him to the United Nations, they shot him repeatedly, and then actually had some kind of meat grinder device, uh, and basically like a bandsaw, I guess, and sawed up his body into a whole bunch of pieces, put him in these very, uh, very like radioactive shielded uh, containers, and then had all these fighter jets dock with the plane and fly his body parts to all corners of the world where then these containers um, uh, turned them into ash. And uh, they thought that maybe this would defeat him, like that his body somehow, the tissue was necessary. So if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world, maybe they could defeat him. Well, he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want, but bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming, and when they do, you will not be able to stop us. Wow. 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 Well, let's say hey, real shit. How about that for a story of Jesus? They didn't teach you that in history class, did it? Damn, I must have missed that class. It must have been happening around lunch. <laughs> I'm saying that there's a difference between a spiritual person and a religious person. A spiritual person does not need a church for the home and temple of God that they find their souls in is the church and how they keep it clean and how they keep it out of ignorance and what they do with it shows their manifestation of the God life. For the other, they need a religious fervor and constantly reminded because they do not have quite the soul that is risen to the point where they can again manifest the creator within them. So they constantly have to remind themselves as a herd come together to give themselves the strength to carry on. That is changing. That's why you're going to find the church being attacked like never before and leaders in false churches falling like never before. And that's why the fall wells and all the rest of it. And you find them like little animals attacking each other, each one pulling each other down and the congregation suffering from it. Because man must learn he does not have to go to a church. He is the church. Watch her face. Look at her eyes.
What the fuck is that? What is People who have been mysteriously killed after exposing the government. Part 1. Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi was a herbalist healer that had a natural cure for many diseases such as cancer, AIDS and HIV. His remedies would shut down the pharmaceutical industry today. A cured customer isn't a customer. Stanley Meyer. Stanley Meyer invented the first water-powered car. He then had an interview with the car investors in a restaurant. He shortly died after the interview in front of his brother telling him, they've poisoned me. His inventions were eventually taken away. This invention would shut down many oil companies today. Joan Rivers was a comedian and actor in Hollywood. She was known for comedic insults on other celebrities. However, when she told reporters that Michelle Obama was really a man, she suddenly died a few days later.